three ears. Can I do it? I think I can do it. What's up everyone? Erica here and I'm back today with another video for you. Welcome back to my channel, friends. I'm so happy to have you here for another year of the ear celebration. I'm so happy to be back to the year of the ear swap post baby. <laughs> the last time I participated in year of the ear was arguably my favorite prompt, dinos and dragons, and Nicole had me. If you are not new to my channel, you guys know, like Nicole is one of my best friends. I love her so much and we both share like an obsession with dinosaurs. So she kind of just went ham for me and like, the unsaid rule of year of the ear is like you wear the previous month's ears, but Nicole gave me like a hundred pairs. So I had to wear each one for my little intro, but I don't want to say which ones are my favorite, but like these, these were a little bit my favorite. You guys will have to forgive my voice. It's going to be a little annoying because I am congested. I'm getting over a cold. I did kind of say that like I hardly get a chance to film and naturally the time that I do, I'm sick. So I'm very sorry for the nasally uh, voice that you have here with me today. Nonetheless, I'm here to open up a pair of ears. I'm so excited. You guys might have seen the box in my thumbnail, possibly, but it looks like I was delivered like a personal pan pizza, not a pair of ears. So I'm very intrigued, but you know, we got to get through all of the information first. This swap is hosted by Mary and Tony over at the Siskateers, and they get a ton of help from Karen over at Disney Inside Andy. Uh, shout out to those ladies, man, every time. I cannot believe the work that they are doing because it's a lot. It's a lot to get all of these creators and keep everybody informed and send addresses and all that good stuff. So thank you ladies. I appreciate you guys so much. February's prompt was home sweet home. And as you guys know, or maybe you don't, but the parameters for this swap are, are that they cannot be like purchased from Disney. So they can be purchased from small shops. They can be purchased by other creators in this swap like in our community which is so fun and you can make them yourself also obviously a lot of people go that route of like diy i definitely did diy this year i'm gonna get into that in a little bit but um that is really the only rule and kind of like stick to the prompt there um it is a no preference swap so you are allowed to voice your preferences in our group chat but your person doesn't have to follow those you know, those specific things that you put as your preference. I always give my preference in the chat because I'm definitely somebody who likes to make ears based off of my perfect person's preference, mainly because I, I want to do something that I know they're going to love, possibly something that I know they're going to wear, whether it's at the parks or whether it's for a video. Like, I just want to make sure that it's something that they're going to love. But honestly, the other reason I love going off of their preferences is because a lot of the time I get somebody who picks something that I never would think to make a pair of ears based around that. Like I'm not like a super huge ear maker. You know, a lot of my friends in this community are like DIYers and make ears a lot. I only really do it for this swap, but I think it's really cool to get inspired by other people's interests. So I love going off of people's preferences. Again, I'm wearing all of my Encanto stuff. Rita, my friend Rita, you guys might know Rita. She gave these to me for my birthday a couple of years ago. I'm wearing my cake worthy shirt, but I had to represent my dino ears. I love them so much. Um, but Casita, Casita is hands down my favorite house, my favorite home. Um, but I did list a couple of other preferences in there. I don't really remember what I said, but again, I'm not holding my breath at all that like Casita ears are gonna be in here, nothing like that. I'm, I'm sure, like I know I'm gonna love whatever I get, especially because I know the person that sent to me, their name is right on the top of the box. So I'm very excited. I've never received ears from this person, but I know that they are like a super talented, out of the box, like out of this world creator. So I'm super excited about that. I tend to talk too much. Literally, I can see my camera says that I've been filming for nine minutes and they want these videos to be like short. And I'm like, girl, I cannot keep my mouth shut. These, this video, was like three hours, I swear. I did quickly want to say the ears that I sent off to my person, I will leave a little like star next to their name in the channel list because I will list everybody down in the description box. So I will leave a little star next to the person that I sent to, but you guys, I'm so nervous about the pair of ears that I sent this year. I was pretty proud of them. Um, it was my first pair of hand painted ears. I have done like hand painted before, but like very minimal things. These ears, one side 
of these ears are all hand painted so um i was very intimidated and very overwhelmed but it was so like i thoroughly enjoyed painting them i love to paint i just don't like i'm not an i'm not an artist i guess no way shape or form compared to so many of the creators in this collaboration but i just wanted to tell you guys like i just had so much fun so if you guys like painting or you think you might like it i totally recommend it because it was so therapeutic for me and to know that i was like sending them off to somebody who has like this specific interest was so special and so fun to me <sighs> i can't breathe through my nose so talking a lot is like hard and i lose my breath okay shut up erica personal pan pizza right here just for me so as i mentioned i do know who sent to me because his name is right on the outside of this box and i guess i'll keep you guys in suspense for a bit longer I read the card for the big reveal <laughs> there's no need to read the card I can tell you guys <laughs> me reading the card will give it away this is so awesome Jake okay so Jake from Jake's Disney afternoon um, is my sender now I was fortunate enough to receive a box of I guess like home decor would be the best way to describe it from Jake and his mother and they sent a few of us creators boxes of like home decor but it was Halloween specific. I got a box of Maleficent items which was so cool. I'll have the little like um, video linked here and they are both just insanely talented and the detail and I know Jake is very um thoughtful and very the word is intentional he's very intentional with the things that he does and the work that he does and he is a very crafty person so i'm super excited to see what's inside this box so again let me just be quiet and read this card okay when i think of where characters live i think about play sets from the 80s and 90s which i was obsessed with okay let me think about this play sets so i thought wouldn't it be cool to have a play set as ears to go on an adventure with while standing in park lines don't forget to check the satchel on the back of the ears apologies some of the characters don't line up the seller made a goof i'm working on tracking the right ones down have fun playing stay vintage from jake this was a fully loaded card you guys this card my mind is going it's all over the place like i'm like what 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 i'm playing in line okay here we go so here's the box we got crinkle fries everywhere oh my god gee this is exact this is exactly oh my okay I, like little Erica is like dying inside. I am dying inside. Can I open it? I'm so nervous. Okay, hold on. What do I do? Tell you guys or look first? Tell you guys or look first? I'm gonna show you guys first. So, okay, when he said play sets, I immediately was like, oh, well, like Polly Pocket, right? Like a little, like I was notorious. And I, I'll be honest with you guys, I did have Polly Pockets, but I was more a fan of, oh my God. My brain cannot articulate what I'm trying to say right now. Jake took me back to my childhood just with this. And like, I feel like that is his whole spiel. So Jake, hats off to you, my friend. Oh my God. I would take Polly Pockets or um, mine. I'm trying to remember what they came in, but the little thing, they were little bunnies and they were like velour bunnies kind of, but they smelled good. Oh God, I'm going to have to do a deep dive to try to find these, but like, they were little bunnies, but like essentially Polly Pockets, right? They had like every version of Polly Pockets. Okay, it's like a Polly Pocket. We have Cinderella and Snow White, which you guys know. Princess girl through and through. I love me some princesses. And then the bow is just like princess fabric, but they look very cute. Like I don't feel like I own any type of ears or shirt or any kind of fabric um, with the princesses illustrated like this. But you guys, on the back, there's a little satchel. You see that? That's what he meant. I'm gonna lose my shit if I'm literally gonna like sit and play with these at Disneyland. Okay, look, there's a little clasp here, so give me a second. Shut up. I'm done. I'm done. Rip, rip to me. Oh my god, there's a dance floor. There's a dance floor that turns. Okay, 
Okay, I need to really like bring you guys in, but I'm so like, I don't want to give you guys a close-up of my skin because your girl's breaking out. Don't look, okay? So let's open, okay? I have Cinderella here. This little like garden terrace thing opens, okay? So here we have Cinderella's kitchen. Can you see it? The bow is kind of like making it to where I don't, I can't open it all the way, so I don't want to break it. There's the kitchen, okay? Can move this. There's the little garden terrace, but you guys, there's the clock tower, but wait. The clock tower turns down, and then there's the castle, and the dance floor actually moves. I can't handle this, Jake. I'm going to open Snow White's now, like, very carefully. Does she open? I'm so nervous about this. Oh, my God. Hers is better. I don't know how. It just is. It's so better. Snow White's opens. And here is the wishing well. Let's push the wishing well aside and look at that. We've got the cottage. Okay, so let's put the wishing well back. You're on this journey with me right now, okay? We have... <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm so dramatic. I'm so sorry. Okay, but look at... Who's here? You guys see that? Who's Who is over for dinner in this cottage? It's the Seven Dwarves. And this has like a beautiful little like... The detailing of the little fish which is like on the cottage. Do you guys see that? But look at this. Are you even kidding right now? Are you joking? I was like, are there seven table settings? There's eight because it's Snow White because she is the only one that would clean it up and make it so beautiful like this. There's grapes and little breads. Like you guys know me and Disney food. Like I will just lose it. Ain't no way this video about to be 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, Mary and Tony. I'm breaking all the rules. You guys, that's not even like, okay, we're not even done. Let me put, let me close up shop. There is a satchel in here. So let me get in here. Are you joking with me? Well, I'm about to lose my damn mind. I'm losing it. I am losing it. Okay. Snow White is in here. Snow White is just in the cottage preparing dinner for the seven dwarves, okay? She is here. She is here for dinner. She is here to stay, okay? Just whistle while you work. It's already working, Jake. I'm literally like playing as we speak. I'm gonna put her down, but you guys, I freaked the F out because I don't know if Jake would know this, but one of my like childhood favorite movies and it's pretty dark and it's pretty grim to think about, but it was absolutely one of my most favorite movies growing up as a kid. Um, I was her for Halloween, I think twice. We have Esmeralda. I am not okay. I think this is what he meant, like from his card, like, oh, Esmeralda doesn't belong with Cinderella, but like, it's better. It's better. Like, I'm not kidding. If Cinderella, because she he sent me Quasi too. So like Quasi is about to have his moment, okay? He never had his moment with Esmeralda, but he is about to have it, Quasi. I'm giving this to you, okay? You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So this is friendship. Mm -hmm. Oh damn girl. Esmeralda even kicked him to the curb even in my in my little fantasy here. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need I need to just really rein it in. But you guys, I'm gonna put the ears on now, okay? Let me put them on. <gasps> Did I miss somebody? <gasps> I went to take them out and somebody fell out. More of my childhood fell out of these ears, you guys. More. A Dalmatian. A Dalmatian. Are you kidding me right now? The back of each little Polly Pocket looks like the same castle. It's just this Snow White's is a little bit more green and Cinderella's is more blue. But do you guys see what he did? He like glued this little pouch right on top and like I can keep my characters with me and play at the parks. And you know what, Jake? That is about the most genius thing you could have ever done. I'm thinking of Juliana when we're eating because I don't know about you guys, if you have kids, if your kids are older or what, but like, Eating is probably like my favorite part, right? One of my favorite parts of being at the parks, but Juliana, that's like the worst, right? You're a kid, you don't wanna sit and have dinner, like, unless it's a character dinner, even if it's a fast one, sitting down for mommy to enjoy a corn dog. Are you kidding, you guys? Jake, 
I'm telling, I didn't I tell you guys this? I prefaced with this. Like Jake is so out of the box. So th I would have literally never. And it's like, he thought out of the box. He stayed on theme. He also kind of like did his own work because he's such a 90s, 80s and 90s guy. He brought me right back to my childhood. Incredible. In freaking credible. I'm obsessed. And it also promotes like playing with little things. Juliana does love that actually. She loves bringing little toys with her places. But this is just so my childhood. And I get to share that with her. That's so special. Oh my goodness. Jake, you did a wonderful job. I can't I cannot believe it. I'm actually stunned. Thank you so much for the thought, the creativity. I am absolutely floored by it. Like I have no other words for it. Even if the seller goofed, this was like the best goof you could have ever sent my way, literally. <laughs> That's gonna do it for me today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to check out everyone's channels. Be sure you check out Jake. His channel is wonderful. If you are a nostalgic, like 80s, 90s person, you are gonna love his channel. I will also like highlight his channel down in the list as well along with the person that I sent to. Thank you again to um, Karen, Mary, and Tony. Again, that's gonna do it for me today, friends. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I know you have a lot of content to watch on every platform, so I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video here on YouTube. I appreciate you so much, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.